Hi guys, welcome to Free Words You and welcome to React plus LLM use cases in finance domain playlist part four. So let's get started. So if you don't yet watched my seventy five hard Gena playlist, please watch and learn Gena for free, and I will put the link in the video description. So here I show you the revenue loss that happen in the finance different industries due to fraud scams and attacks that happen in them in the past few years, and you see the maximum loss happen in the investment domain. Okay. So to stop these kind of frauds or scams, many preventive measures are taken, many rules are created, but still these frauds are keep happening and increasing every year. And there are like the many types of frauds as well. If you just see this kind of a chart here, just like a uh, fraud at financial institutions and fraud at business level and also at the customer level as well. But these segregations helps us identify the levels and type of fraud. So you can build a Gena framework to tackle these fraud at all these different different levels. Okay. So as I promised in my uh, previous videos that our first project from this list is going to be the fraud detection. So here I am presenting you that. And in this project, we are building a financial fraud detection pro uh, project with help of Python, Langchain, along with the Zypher Lie language model. That is the fine-tuned version of Mistral 7B Lie language model. Okay, so let's get started and I am building a complete project for you and show you how you can predict that whether this statement is a fraud or not based on the RAG and Lie language model information as well. Here is my project that is called fraud detection using LLM and uh, RAG model. So you can see there, this is a financial modeling project. We have the complete thing here. Uh, just let me correct this. Yeah, so we, we are completely using all these kind of technologies and this is how our uh, system will work. We have to input the financial statement or kind of a, a financial news or anything like that and it will predict that whether this news is a uh, fraudulent or not based on the behavior that it sees in that news as well okay and if you want to know about this full playlist you can just click on this button and it will directly bring you to the my playlist uh, here and already three uh, videos are there okay now you can see i first install all the necessary libraries that i just need and uh, then I just uh, build my own dataset here. Okay, I build it because I don't find any kind of a dataset that can uh, have this kind of a fraud, non-fraud data and uh, have a textual uh, things with it as well. Okay, so I just need kind of these textual statements that can uh, show me that if they are uh, fraudulent statements or not. And based on that, I have this... Uh, uh, fraudulent statements and on the non-fraudulent statements as well and also uh, uh, we have uh, uh, the random choice that we add here so we can uh, completely say that uh, these are fraud and these are not fraud so it is just kind of a complete synthetic data that i just created here okay and now now that i use this nltk nlp functions to clean this all the like, kind of text that we have and uh, we can also try to uh, word tokenize it as well and build a clean text at the end okay so here is my clean text at the end that i just got okay then i just need to build a, a vector db because we need to store all this data into the vector db and use it in the rag chain to generate the answers here okay so i just uh, uh, try to give the text column as the filing column here and you can also try to give it some other name like text or kind of a, a financial statement or financial news as well okay so and that you can build it in the document format because these document formats are then used in the vector db to store okay so i just uh like uh, do the iterations on my uh df that i just created here and then put all these things into my document format here in the document list okay then i just load all this kind kind of a thing in a vector db so uh just before the loading process i just need the hugging face embeddings as well because we need an embedding model because we need to embed all the data that we put in the vector db as well so that it can be easy for the us to search in the vector db from their embeddings okay so that's why we need the embeddings here and i use the open source embeddings so there is no kind of a pay or any kind of a paid kind of charges are there okay then i just have to uh, take all the things above like my uh, document list and uh, along with my hugging face embeddings and then put it all right there okay with my path as well so in that way 
my whole data is going to be stored in the chroma db with the help of hugging face embeddings and along with the documents that i just created now now you just need a large language model so for that you need to download it or you need to load it from the hugging face as well. so that's why you need to uh, log in to the hugging face hub by using that token that you just got from the hugging face platform and then you need to just load it i just load everything that i just need in this kind of a project and uh, then i i just uh, load my this model that is called zai cipher 7b model so this cipher 7b model is the fine tuned version of the mistral 7 7b alive language model okay they just uh, take the mistral 7b fine tuned it and build this cipher 7b alive language model okay and then i just also uh, take the quantization set here because i don't want to load this model a complete size i want it in a concise or in a very compact way so that's why i am using the quantization here okay and that i just try to load all these things in the quantized format with the help of model and as well as its tokenizer as well. okay and i just completely load everything here now i have the model i have the tokenizer then i build a query pipeline here and that pipeline will take my model and take my tokenizer as well and build a complete pipeline of the text generation that that can take the input and can gen, uh, generate the answer for you okay and for that i just like try to build a very small kind of a function here that just choose to uh, represent our answers in a very good way okay then i just also try to test my large language model pipeline as well i just use the hugging face pipeline functions to build a one function that is called llm and with the help of my question i pass that question into the llm and generate the answer and the answer you see we have this answer it it easily ex explains the eu ai act as well okay but that's we know that our model is now completely workable model we have now we we'll let's just pass this model to our actual thing so i just build a kind of this template here and build a prompt out of this template we have our uh, retriever here that we build from the uh, chroma db that we just build above like just here okay and by using this kind of a retriever we build a qa chain and pass our large language model our retriever here and our uh, like prompt here as well so that it can take this kind of a prompt and can generate the answers in the same way it just give us the uh, statement at the end that it is a fraud or not and why okay so based on that i just pass my this single question here and based on this single question i pass this and it it just generate the answer based on the given context it is clear that the statement indication is a fraud because complete reported revenues were inflated by including sales that did not actually occur because a company cannot like uh, inflate their sales or anything like that it cannot happen in the very general ca uh, cases as well okay that's why it says it is a fraud statement and if i just uh, give it another kind of a statement here like this that financial record ac accurately reflects all expenses and liabilities so this should be the non fraud statement because it is actually true because a financial records always shows these kind of things as well okay so it will uh, try to generate response in that way okay so let's just generate the response it takes some time because we don't have that much kind of ram with us or that much kind of processing power with us so i just fast forward it okay so here you just see the answers are right here with you based on the given context the statement financial record is a non fraud state okay so as uh, so as so as you just see here it gives the, us the answer that based on the context the above statement is a non fraud statement okay so this is a non fraud statement so you you can try a, you can try out this by yourself you can try it with many kind of other financial statements or financial news is and try out to see at whether it predicted a fraud or non fraud and based on that you can also try to use a many kind of open source large language model to experiment with it and to see which kind of large language model will generate what kind of output for you as well okay so i hope you completely understand that how this fraud detection uh, project will work and it it is a very interesting project if if you can try to build out in a more deep and more advanced way as well and in our uh, next video we will uh, be building a default prediction framework by using the uh, large language model and uh, rag as well and that will predict if a customer will 
डिफॉल्ट ऑन द लोन और नॉट तो दिस इज द लाइक वेरी मेजर प्रोजेक्ट इन द क्रेडिट रिस्क डोमेन दैट इज द लाइक मेजर चंक ऑफ द नॉन फाइनेंशियल बैंकिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन एज सर ओके सो एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न अबाउट प्रॉम्प्ट इंजीनियरिंग लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल्स एंड डेटा साइंस ऑन मशीन लर्न यू कैन वॉच माई वीडियो ऑन यूट्यूब एंड ऑल्सो रीड माई ब्लॉग्स ऑन मीडियम विल मीट इन अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक वाइज थैंक यू सो मच